Glover Teixeira versus Jamal Hill. UFC 283, last minute, Dana White is coming in to save this event after a split decision draw at UFC 282 where Mankamed Abgalayov seemingly beat Jan Blakovich for the UFC light heavyweight title. The judges said no. We're left with no real champion. We're gonna get to see Glover Teixeira ranked right now at number two in the division. Take on a guy ranked five spots lower. Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill is ranked right now at number seven. In this division, he's getting a big chance. He's getting a chance to fight the ex-UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Glover Teixeira fought John Jones in his first outing for a title, beating Jan Blachowicz for the title and then losing it to Yiri Proshkaya. In his last fight, he went on a tear in 2019. 2020 went on a six fight winning streak, capped it off with the, the title victory over Blakovich. Jamal Hill is gonna come into this fight 12 years younger. He's 31 years old, born in 1991. Glover is 43 years old right now. The window of opportunity is shutting. It's gotta shut soon. Glover Teixeira has been able to do the unthinkable, win a title later on in age, and he's looking for his second reign as UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Taking on a taller man, Jamal Hill has power in his hands. Right now, Jamal is 11 and one. Went on, a bunch of wins in a row, beating Ovin St. Bru, smashing him in, in the corner, knockout TKO, and then his only loss was one fight in his career against Paul Craig where he really took severe damage on his arm, bent, contorted, twisted it in all different ways, but since then has been on a three fight tear, smashing Jimmy Crute, Johnny Walker, and in his last fight in a main event, watering Tiago Santos by TKO in the fourth round. We're gonna get to see this, and we never thought that we would see this for a title fight. Dana White's coming in to save the division. We thought that Yuri Proshkaya was the champion and due to a traumatic injury, Proshkaya isn't able to fight. And, and the last fight didn't work out. So D Dana White is going to plan B. Can Jamal Hill, a serious underdog, come into this fight and shot Glover Teixeira I think he can. I think Jamal Hill has what it takes to come into this fight and land an upset. Younger guy, Jamal Hill has seven knockout TKOs in his career. We saw him crush Johnny Walker in the first round and brutalize Jimmy Crute in only 48 seconds. If it wasn't for that one loss against Craig, he would be undefeated and a lot more eyeballs would be on Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. I'm going with Hill here. I think he's gonna go into this fight, use his hands, stay away from the second degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Glover Teixeira, and come out with a victory here. We're gonna have a, a new champion.